Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if the Windows 11 File Explorer is crashing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now, before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on, on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Then you want to go to classes and you want to double click on that. You want to go down near the bottom of this list here until you find local settings. It should start with a capital L, so again local settings. And you can type on one of these random folders here and then just it'll take you right there. So again local settings. Go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the software folder. Double click on Microsoft. And then Windows, double click on that. And now you should see a folder in here that says shell. Go ahead and double click on that one. And now there should be a folder in here that says bag MRU. We're going to go ahead and delete it. However, if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each bank slash has a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and right click on this bag MRU folder and select delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Select yes. And now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and right click on the bags folder. And you want to delete that one as well. And now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. You don't have to close or collapse all the folders that I'm doing here, but you're welcome to. And close out of here, and you want to go restart your computer. And there you go, guys. I should have hopefully been able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.